This is project group 22 and this is our 4-bit adder implemented in Minecraft. Now, why Minecraft? Well, Minecraft is a uh, video game that's a lot like pretty much Legos. It's just a digital form of Legos. You can build whatever you want, destroy it, I mean just, you know, have fun. Um, one of the things that drew me to this game was the fact that my friend showed me how he, you can implement uh, circuits. Um, so I thought this would be a great way to earn some bonus points while you know learning more about the process of how adders work especially since I have to make the gates at a very low level such as you know pretty much creating transistors out of redstone wiring and torches um, so but just looking at it right now this is pretty complex even people who have played this wouldn't really know where to start just looking at it it would take a lot of time figuring out and you know just giving a user a bunch of it uh, inputs and outputs just all jumbled together with this mess would be a bit much so to make it nicer for the user I decided to make a building which is what I'm standing on that houses the inputs and the outputs of the 4-bit adder now if we go inside cool little automatic door you know Step on the pressure plate opens the door closes the door um, I, I decided to design it a lot like a basis board. I actually used the basis board schematic to create uh, the 4-bit adder in here. So looking at it here, we can, I see you can see there's four torches and two groups of three switches. Now these torches are considered to be the LEDs. Uh, think of it as you know the 4-bit LEDs or the 4-bit uh, output that's represented in the LEDs for the basis board. You can see 2 to the 3rd, which is 8, 2 to the 2nd, which is 4, 2 to the 1, which is 2, and 2 to the 0, which is 1. So, that's the output right there. Now, we have two groups of switches. Um, we're going to call this group right here X. Now you could call the group A, you could call it whatever you want, but for the sake of this demo we're going to call it X. This group we're going to call Y. You could call it B or anything like that, but for the sake of the demo, again, we're calling it Y. Now, if you look closely, this is a 3-bit input. Um, we have 2 to, this, uh, 2 to the second, 2 to the first, 2 to zero. Basically, if I wanted to make 5, I would turn on a switch. And turn on this switch and make 101, which is 5. Turn these off. I have 000. Um, same thing over here. These are just the two inputs that we are adding together. So here's uh, the inputs and here's the outputs. So let's do a basic demonstration. Let's start with something easy like 1 plus 1. See, 1 plus 1. That equals 2. 0, 0, 1, 0. Now let's say we want to add 5 plus 3. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. This equals 1, 0, 0, 0, which is 8. Now if I wanted to flip all the switches and make 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1, we would get 14. As you can see here, 8 plus 4 plus 2 equals 14. One 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 zero. So you can basically do any number and just change, you know, add however you like, you know. So now that I've shown you uh, how it works and that it works, um, let's go uh, back outside and look at some of the logic gates and other parts of the inner workings of our four bit adder. So as you can see, it's a bit of a jungle here of lines and torches. The lines are the redstone wiring, or is basically just treated like wires um, in a schematic or you know just anything, any kind of wire. And then treat the torches. They're a power source, and at the same time, they're the whole reason we can make gates. 
um, so it's a little hard to classify them. You can, they they make up the transistors in lot in the logic gates. Like right here, this black uh, these black boxes and uh, torches and lines and all that. This isn't this is the XOR gate. Um, this black line right here that you see goes into the blocks. That is one input. This other black line is the other input. So we have like X zero. Uh, x or y zero, so we have x zero, y zero, and then we get the output, the output of this x or right here. Um, there's there's more x or gates um, all over here, but that's what a basic one looks like. Um, let's look at an AND gate. So here we have the three ANDs in the four bit adder. We have or at least in one stage of the adder. We have X and the carry in, Y and the carry in, and X and Y. These are three inputs, I mean three AND gates for um, the possibilities to see if there's a carry out. Alright, so right here, this is an AND gate. These three blocks, the ones I'm standing on, these are an AND gate. That's the output, that black line is. Here's an input, and here's an input. Very similar to the XOR gate, just less complicated. Same thing for all of these. Um, we can see that that's X and that's Y, and this output right here is X and Y. So, in OR gate, it's even simpler. It's basically one block with a torch on it with one input and another, with two inputs actually, one here and one here. Um, and this make this basically makes an OR gate. It just takes one block. It's one of the simplest gates to make. Um, here's the output, in which it inverts it and passes along the rest of it. It inverts it because um, these redstone wires can only go 15 blocks away from the power source, which happens to be the torches. So you have to invert them and create sort of a relay to keep the signal going. And by doing that, though, you uh, it makes this a lot more cluttered. As you can see, I have like multiple levels of um, wiring and logic gates because it's really hard to keep it compact and uh, conserve resources. Because if I made it more spread out and all on one level, the gates and all the wires and the blocks would stretch out for miles, or it would go up, you know, multiple levels. Um, luckily since it's a 4 bit adder it's not too complex but as you can see here's a wire right here I have to be careful not to get this mixed with any of the other wires because if it mixed it would mess up the signal and you know I would get ones when I'm supposed to get zeros and vice versa um, so you can see I actually have to jump a wire over this one and so let's go look at uh, what actually turns the LEDs on these wires right here all run to the back of the LEDs. Um, you have LED 1, 2, 3, and 4. They go straight into the back of them to turn them on and off. Same thing for the switches. Let me get over here real quick. Here's the X group. You have uh, X0, X1, X2. And then over here, same thing with the Y. Y0, Y1, Y2. Um, this project took about eight hours. A lot of it was just trying to figure out um, how to actually implement it and debug it, which you can see was pretty complex. Um, but all in all, I learned a lot more than just doing it on the basis board or the breadboard. Um, since I got to play with uh, actually create the logic gates myself and wire it just kind of see the whole logic behind everything so this is our 4-bit adder uh, thank you for your time